E Honda is one of the most obnoxious and gimmicky characters in Street Fighter 6. With moves like Zuma Headbutt, Zuma Butt Slam, and an incredible command grab that he can use during his own pressure, it is no surprise that most players struggle to win against him. Today, I want to go over all the tips and tricks that I have on how to beat Honda. Keep in mind that most of these examples will be shown as Kami, but they can pretty much apply to any character in the game. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So let's go over Honda's most common neutral options. The first one is going to be Zumo Headbutt. And you've probably seen this like a bunch of times already. He's just going to walk back and he's just going to headbutt you from literally across the screen. Like you can do this from like full screen, he doesn't have to care. Right? And what can you actually do against it? This one is by far the most annoying one you have to deal with. So my solution honestly towards it is to just do a perfect parry. This is the safest option you can do. As you can see right here, you can full punish it and just punish him for it pretty much every time. You can learn this within like five minutes in training mode. Literally just set Honda to just age headbutt whenever and you're just going to be practicing against it and you're going to be fine. So other solutions towards age headbutt is going to be to DP when you see it like this. And the third one is to buffer a super. So right here, if you see him do it, you can buffer a level one or level three. Depending on what your character has, obviously any invincible option pretty much will do against it. So age headbutt is the one they're gonna use the most and it's gonna be the most common. Now let's talk about all the other versions, which is gonna be light, medium, and EX. So medium and EX aren't really used in neutral that much, but the one that is pretty commonly used is the light version because if the Honda is smart and he does know that you're already like trying to parry it or anything, he can use this to bait it, right? Because right here would be just outside of the range. So then what he could go for is for example, a throw or a command grab because let's say right here that you're playing against him and you parry, see? He's in perfect range to just do whatever he wants afterwards. So you have to be very, very careful positioning yourself. Do not position yourself too close. Position yourself further out right here, because if he does the light version, he can't hit you or anything. So he's, he's in the clear there, right? So you pretty much are just in like a neutral position afterwards. So these are the positions by, by itself, and this is what the counterplay he can do. As I said, EX version, you're never really gonna see it. Medium version, maybe sometimes neutral, but mostly what you're gonna be looking to perfect parry and to train against is the heavy version. Always train against the heavy version. So let's say, for example, you can't react to this, right? So like you couldn't react to the H headbutt, what happens afterwards? The usual situation you will end up after this is going to be this right here. Due to the fact that he's so far positioned away due to the age headbutt, you can't really do anything here. You can't really press a button to whiff punish him. As you can see, pretty much everything that I do whiffs, right? The only thing that actually hits here are heavy buttons, but they're way too slow, so this doesn't work. So, I will show you the most common options that Hondas like to do here, and then how to counterplay each one of them. Let's start with the first one, which is just to simply attack again afterwards. As you can see right here, he wants to go for a standing heavy punch. Usually that's what they want to opt for. They want to opt for a standing heavy punch or a jab. The reason why is because they're looking to whiff punish you or to just hit you fast enough. That is essentially it, right? So the counterplay towards this is pretty simple for Kami and then for other characters it gets a bit more complicated. But let's go over what Kami can do first. So what Kami can do right here is essentially just dive kick, right? She just has the option of just simply dive kicking here and then you're just privileged essentially in this sense, right? And then for other characters, usually what you can go for is just to wait out and whiff punish. Something like that, right? Those are like the best solutions against attack. Now let's talk about number two, which is just this scenario. Burhana just stands there and he's just waiting for you to press something. So for example, like the standing heavy punch, right? Or to do like anything. The solution towards that is to just walk up and just throw him. That is like the best one. Literally just walk up, throw him, there you go, right? He gets punished for that. And then number three is his EX headbutt. So after you hit his headbutt and he blocked, he wants to go for another one. Basically what this does is whenever you press a button or you try to walk up against him, so like strike or throw, either or, right? He can just avoid both scenarios completely and just say, whatever, it is what it is, right? So best way to counterplay that is to just be more patient. That is literally it. Because if you wait here, as you can see, negative... 20. So you can literally walk up here and do a full punish if you wanted to, right? So these are the three most common things that they want to do after the scenario, so just be very, very careful with it, right? Another thing that's usually safe to use here is what I would like to just do a standing medium kick. If you just take a step forward, this is usually pretty safe as well, just to like push them away. Especially if they're waiting, it also drains his drive gauge pretty heavily. So if you, for example, have a Honda who is like low on drive gauge, right? You can just force a scenario where he has to either EX headbutt or do something risky in order to get it. And you can just do like one of these moves and you're gonna be fine, right? But overall, 
these are like the best solutions you can use against the post block scenario. Let's go over his next option, which is the sumo butt slam. This move has been haunting my nightmares ever since the release of the game. So this is like one of the first things I allowed how to fight against. So interesting fact about this is that all versions except the EX version land at the same time. So you can always air for it if you're looking for the move itself. So how I look for it is I look just above Honda's head and the second I see even it moving a little bit, I go for the air for every single time. So any air for character, so for example, Cami, Guile, Jury, anybody else can basically just air for him and do what they want, right? The move overall is pretty predictable and punishable if you're looking for it. Now let's talk about the other solutions. So the other solutions are for characters that don't have an air throw or maybe don't even have any options at all like a DP. So number one for this is to just perfect parry it. Right here, again, just like the sumo headbutt, you can full punish this, do whatever you want with it. Number two is to do something with Cam in particular that is just crouching heavy punch. This move reaches for pretty far, so you just have to wait up until he actually is trying to go down and land. Don't do it beforehand. So right here, if he tries to land, as you can see, we trade it right there. But here I hit it, right? And you can actually land supers into it, so you can do level three, for example. There you go. So you, as you can see, if you react to this, you can do it right there. Pretty simple, love to see it. Tons of damage, by the way, for an anti-air. Ridiculous amounts of damage if you do it right. You gotta figure out whatever your character has an option that works here, that is an anti-air option, or just learn how to perfect parry it. Obviously, if you have an air throw, then even even better, because you can just do whatever you want. Also, characters like Jury and Guy can decide where on the ghost. For example, in the corner right here, you can actually decide, just push him into the corner, right? So very, very good overall. That's like the main option that I like to use. Now let's go over Honda's neutral moves outside of his specials, because his specials are obviously his gimmicks that he likes to use the most, but if a Honda actually knows how to play the game, they're going to use more than just that. So let's go over it. Number one is going to be his standing heavy punch. This move overall is a really strong tool with tons of reward. As you can see, you, you can cancel the drive rush right here. Right? So really, really good. And also, another thing is it can be used as an anti-air against dive kicks or regular jump in. So if they don't like charge anything right here, because usually this is the best anti-air that they have, they can just use this, right? So just be aware of it. Don't dive kick into this too much. You will get hit. And then the other one is his standing medium punch. So both of these are really good options. One of them pushes him forward, reaches far. The other one's mostly used as an anti-air. But both options actually can be whiff punished the exact same way. So his main core tools that he likes to use in neutral, outside of his specials, can actually be whiff punished the exact same way as Kami. So what you can do right here is this. If you stand just outside the range, you can medium punch both of them. No problem. Medium punch is way better than using crouching medium kick. Crouching medium kick, most of the time, you'll just get hit for it. You can see right here, right here, it does hit, but... You see, nothing really happens here where it would have happened with Crouching Medium Punch. So Crouching Medium Punch actually is the best option here as Kami. Test it out with your own character to see if Crouching Medium Punch works. This is usually what has worked for me. The kicks don't really work too much. But yeah, it's just my experience. And the Optimal Whiff Punish combo here, actually, I will show you as well now. But this is the Optimal Whiff Punish combo, just because it gets them into the corner and you do a ton of damage for it. So this is actually the best one that you usually want to use. Obviously, if you can kill like a level 3, do it. But this is like the best one that you do want to use to get them into the corner, push them in there, get the most amount of meter. That's basically it. Another option they like to use is to just drive rush at you with one of these buttons. And usually, his drive rush isn't really that good as you can see. Like, it's, it doesn't really reach too far. So if you do react to this, standing light kicks your best friend. Just like that, just don't care. Push him in the corner for free. Uh, like, they, they like to use this every now and again, just be careful about it. Crouching medium punch another version if they're far away, but usually I like to use standing light kick, that's like my main approach. Now let's talk about Honda's lows, right, because I didn't mention them yet. All of Honda's lows essentially aren't really that good. As you can see, like none of them can really be canceled or anything. They don't, they don't do anything in particular, but they are still options that they like to use every now and again. So the only advice that I really have for you is when you play neutral right here against Honda, just make sure not to just always stand, right? Make sure to just crouch if you can, and then use your crouching medium punch, just because if they do use a low, you are ready for it. And overall in the Honda matchup, what I try to do is I try to play pretty patient and I'll wait for my opponent to make the first move and just react to whatever comes my way, right? So if they, for example, go for the headbutt, I'll perfect parry it. If they go for the butt slam, I will air for it. If they go for these buttons, I will crouching medium punch. So that makes sense so far. And that's overall how I approach it. So in ranked, 
you're going you're just going to meet pretty much one or two types of honda players number one is just going to be the one that we mentioned earlier who basically just spams these options and repeat and you're going to have to react to them so he's going to use that he's going to use drive rush he's going to use sumo headbutt whenever he can right and your mission is just to react to any of these options so one one of them is just going to be super super reactionary gimmicky like all of that and number two is going to be the ones that are actually trying to play the game so they're trying to play neutral right here got to go for these buttons and then they want to go for this to mental stack you number two is a lot more dangerous right so overall advice be patient and just don't let your opponent steamroll you with reaction checks but how do we actually react to these options and or practice it and for that i have a training drill that you can do so for the training drill, what I would like you to do is I would like you to go to your recording settings and I would like you to set three different things. The first one is going to be just Honda walking back and forth, essentially, right? So him just walking here, just in charge range. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have him set to number two, which is going to be for him to actually do it a H headbutt, right? So this is important. So number one is going to be him walking. Number two is going to be him doing H headbutt. And number three is going to be him doing his sumo butt slam. All right, now that we have all these options recorded, what I would like you to do is just have all of them on and just basically the, the, just follow Honda and just start reacting to what he does. So right here, right to the air throw. Punish it again, right? So as you can see, like a basic training drill you can do. Right here, you could have, I could have perfect parried, right? Stuff like that. So essentially, this is what you want to practice, right? And once you get it down for like five to 10 minutes a day, it will be so much easier because you're just going to be looking for either two of these options to see what you can do. Especially if you position further away like this, he can't really play neutral, so he has to do like any of these two options, right? So this is overall what I would recommend you as a, as a regular training drill. Set these three up, set them as random selection rate, just one, and make sure that the replay info display is off. Do not cheat yourself with this one because you're going to see which thought is going to be and you're going to be looking for it, right? So don't do not cheat on yourself. Just have it as off. That's my best suggestion. Now let's talk about disadvantage states. So when Honda actually has an advantage for once, there are some gaps in his pressure that can be used to be careful of. The first one being that he does not have throw loops. So as you can see right here, even if I try to do them, I'm way too far away for anything. So play this cami. Let's get from real quick. As you can see right here, I can just jab against this before he can throw me again, right? So characters like Cammy, for example, could just throw you right here with a regular get up. So this is just something to keep in mind. He cannot throw loop you, so whenever you see him just walk towards you, you can always do a jab to just check it, right? That's like the best one. You can always just throw the crouching light punch just to avoid the situation entirely. Second thing is his target combo. This one's actually pretty scary. So his target combo is standing light punch into standing medium punch. And then what you can do afterwards is usually use a special move. So for example, what he's going to do is this, which is standing light punch, standing medium punch, and then the H headbutt. This one can be paired for obvious reasons, so we already discussed this one. Boom. And then you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can even side swap him here if you're a character that has a side swap, so this is really, really good. So yeah, whenever you think they're going to do it, just try to go for a parry. There's no harm, you're just going to be put in the same situation as you were if it was a neutral, so there isn't really anything. Now, number two is with a hand slap. This option right here is a true block string. So I can't I can't parry here even if I'm pressing parry the entire time. So if you are trying to go for a parry scenario right here because you're trying to cover H headbutt, usually you're gonna be safe because hand slap again, it's a true block string, there's nothing really you can do. And this overall again is another space trap scenario where it's plus four, but because you're too far away, Nothing really happens here most of the time, especially if they're going to space themselves out. You can't really punish this, right? But because nothing comes out, you can always just try to parry it and you're going to be fine. Now let's talk about the scariest option in my opinion, which is command grab. And this command grab is actually very, very powerful. So this command grab is usually something they want to use during their pressure gaps. So for example, instead of using this as a target combo, you can do this right here and then just command grab you. And command grab actually does a bunch of damage. 2000 is a lot. This is the first one. And then the other one is usually what they want to do is you want to use it after drivers cancel. So they will cancel right here and then they will try to go for that as well. Right there. Boom. Right. Not really a good scenario for you. So let's go over what you actually can do here. Let's talk about the drive rush first. So for the drive rush right here, what you can do is you can do something what's called an OSDP. So essentially, whenever you see a drive rush, you can just DP out and then afterwards go immediately for a low block. For example, if Honda was going to try to just go for a jab afterwards, so just like this, right? 
you would still be blocking at the same time and just not worry about it. So this is like an easy way to get out if you're a DP character. And for Kami, this is especially good because, again, right here, I actually sideswap him on top of it. So there's not really much you can do here, like from the scenario by itself. But when it comes to, for example, the jab or something, you can't really do that because it is too fast. So like right here, like if he's just pressuring, right? As you can see, it is too quick. You won't be able to just like do the OSDP or like anything. So usually the solution is just going to be a hard read jump. And if you want to cover any command grab in this game, I always recommend to neutral jump. Don't forward jump, don't backwards jump, because you won't be able to punish it as much. If you're like right here, for example, and you jump back, again, you, you can't do anything here. So I will show you the full punish, actually, that you can get off of this. So yeah, if you ever catch him command grabbing you too much, 5,800 right there, right? Very, very strong. There's also meatless options that are incredibly good. So yeah, command grab is something that is like a big risk on their end. So if you make sure that you know when they want to go for it or you play it safe, this is usually the best approach to deal with it. Now let's talk about the final part, which is offense against Honda. So if you actually got the neutral hit for once and you have to fight Honda right here, what can you do? What are the best solutions? What are you supposed to look out for? Honda on defense usually likes to do one of three things. Number one is going to be for them to butt slam out. If you think he's going to do it, you can always air for him, right? Push him back to the corner. So yeah, this is the most common option that they like to do. So the biggest reason why they like to do this actually is because they just get to get a side swap. So right here, if you can see, he gets a perfect side swap, and if he hits me, it's even it's even better, right? Because I'm just gonna be in pressure essentially, and he can do whatever he wants. If you are close to Honda right here, I do not recommend the air throw. If you're further away like this and you see it happening, I usually always suggest it. But if you're somewhere around here and you get hit here on pressure or anything, you won't be able to do much. Like it is, it isn't really possible. So. The best solutions, in my opinion here, are to just do the stuff that I told you earlier, which is to either perfect parry it, or to press like any any type of anti-air, right? As you can see, anti-air like regular, and ju just don't worry about it. This is basically the, the best way, because HDP and the EX version both have too much hit stun, so you cannot actually air for it. That is something that's very, very important for you to know. So, just be aware of it. And the same thing actually happens with a second escape option, which is jabs in the sumo butt slam. Nothing you can do. If I try to air for right here, there's no way. See, I'll get hit before I can do anything. So again, crouching heavy punch, your best friend, is what you want to use. Either that or perfect parry it to side swap them. It is up to you. So the, the reason why they want to use headbutt so much or even like butt slam to get out is just because Honda's buttons aren't really that great. Like whenever you like right here, as you can see, like his buttons to get out, they aren't really that strong. If you just position properly, he can't really do anything. And because he cannot cancel into a driver, she can't just get like a random low to get out. It isn't really an option. So that's what you're going to try to go for. The other option, and this is commonly used whenever you just press a bunch of buttons, is for them to just EX headbutt. So usually here after a throw, the best way for them to get out is, is going to be to OD the headbutt. And as you can see right here, if I try to go for like anything here, I get hit. Except throw. Throw actually beats this option entirely, so you can just throw loop him as much as you want during this. And he can't do anything. And on top of it, you get a punish counter. So there isn't really a real way for him to escape this besides just knowing you're going to go for a jab. Right. The other option is for him to go either for a level one or a level three. So if you try to go for throw loop right here, you get hit. Right. Take a ton of damage. And usually, in my opinion, if you think he's gonna go for either the EX headbutt level one or three, it's in your best interest to just after throw after like any string, just just wait it out, just shimmy. Right. Because you will get a full punish. And again, as we said earlier. Full punishes against Honda, really, really good. Just like any character, right? Like, you want to just full punish it to make sure that you're able to do this. I usually stand around here just so I can, like, play shimmies. And if he does go for the sumo butt slam, I always air for him, put him back in the corner. This is usually how I like to play it because, again, he barely has any ways to get out. So, that's basically everything on how to deal with Honda in Street Fighter 6. If you have any questions, make sure to comment down below and let me know which character you would like to see next. If you want any direct help, I also offer coaching and Metify. Make sure to sign up for free consultation, first thing in the description. And then, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Thank you so much.